This is African American History is American History. Welcome. I'm your host, Harlan Kearsley. This program's goal is to foster understanding, promote discussion, and expand knowledge through stories of historical events, bios of unsung heroes, as well as timely and relevant news stories, which hopefully will paint a vivid picture of the effects of segregation, discrimination, and bigotry on the lives of both blacks and whites. Comparisons will be made between the many racially fractured periods of American history and what's going on right now. The FBI's counterintelligence program, known as COINTELPRO, short for Counterintelligence Program, began in 1956. Its aim was to disrupt communist activities in the United States. By the 1960s, thanks to the power that the head of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, commanded, COINTELPRO had become a duplicitous and destructive government-sponsored weapon against civil rights activists, black nationalists, and basically anyone Hoover didn't like. And he really didn't like the Black Panther Party. Through COINTELPRO, Hoover and the FBI waged war against the Black Panther Party, with sabotage, misinformation, and lethal force. Here's Kim Bay to tell you more about it. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense was founded in 1966 in Oakland, California, and quickly became the most influential militant black power organization of the 20th century. Its members confronted politicians, challenged the police, and protected black citizens from brutality. The party's community service programs, called survival programs, provided food, clothing, and transportation. Within one year of the formation of the Black Panther Party, the FBI considered them political dissidents and established an extensive counterintelligence program known as COINTELPRO. Although other groups were targeted, the Black Panther Party bore the full brunt of J. Edgar Hoover's COINTELPRO program. According to declassified FBI documents, COINTELPRO's purpose was to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the activities of the black nationalists. This is African American History is American History. COINTELPRO used infiltration perjury, police harassment, and many other unlawful tactics designed to undermine Panther leadership, incriminate and assassinate party members, discredit and criminalize the party, and drain organizational resources and manpower. The COINTELPRO operation ultimately backfired on Hoover. Instead of weakening the Black Panther Party, the FBI's killing and arresting of Panther members only served to increase the party's support among African Americans and many whites on the political left. They valued the Panthers as a powerful force that was opposed to segregation and the military draft. The Black Panther Party's mission was to make the world a better place for everybody. While Hoover relentlessly painted the Black Panther Party as subversive criminals, the Black community saw the party as a force for good. By the end of 1968, Black Panther Party founders Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale launched many social programs, including free breakfast for school children and community health clinics. The Black Panther Party enrolled the most members and had the most influence in the Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Seattle, and Philadelphia. There were active chapters in many prisons, 
as an increasing number of young African-American men were being incarcerated. This is African American History is American History. While the words of other civil rights activists like Martin Luther King Jr., John Lewis, and Malcolm X are widely read and revered, those of Huey Newton, Bobby Seale, and Fred Hampton are hardly, if ever, taught and shared. And yet today, many current community activists fighting racism, voter suppression, and inequity will tell you that the Black Panther's impact on civil rights is immeasurable. In 1969, Chicago police gunned down and killed Black Panther Party members Fred Hampton and Mark Clark, who were asleep in their apartment. About a hundred bullets were fired in what police described as a fierce gun battle with members of the Black Panther Party. However, ballistics experts later determined that only one of those bullets came from the Panther's side. Although the FBI was not responsible for leading the raid, a federal grand jury later indicated that the Bureau played a significant role in the events leading up to the raid. The Black Panther Party officially dissolved in 1982. In 1989, the new Black Panther Party was founded in Dallas, Texas. Both the Anti-Defamation League and the Southern Poverty Law Center list the new Black Panther Party as a black separatist hate group. Despite its name, the new Black Panther Party is not an official successor to the Black Panther Party. The Huey Newton Foundation, former chairman and co-founder Bobby Seale, along with members of the original Black Panther Party, have insisted that this new Black Panther Party is illegitimate and have strongly objected to it. This has been an African American History is American History special. COINTELPRO, the FBI's War on the Black Panther Party. It was written and directed by Harlan Kearsley. The guest narrator was Kim Bay. I'm Harlan Kearsley. And I'm Kim Bay. On behalf of everyone involved in African American History is American History, thank you for listening. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to the show. Once you do, you'll be notified as new episodes are posted. Thanks again. And please, stay safe. African American History is American History. Copyright H.C. Kearsley, 2022.